All right, defenders and guardians, go ahead and pinch a stance. Chetty hits and Kung All right, student tenants and Shishak. Honor, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self control, courage, immunity. Kung and Jumbi. By the way, in case first time you might be hearing the words, Chetty is attention in Korean. Kung is a course bow and Shishak means to start or to begin. Okay. So let's go ahead and start off today though with a warm up. The first part of the warm up is going to be 45 seconds of running in place. 45 seconds running in place. Or if you've got room and you can run in a circle or anything like that, you're welcome to do so. You don't have to run in place. Begin. Can we run forward and backwards too as well? Yeah, you can run forward and backwards too. Be careful. Be mindful of your surroundings. Don't run into the fireplace, please. Twenty seconds. All right, next, jumping jacks, full swing jumping jacks. Three, two, one, begin. Jumping jacks, full swing. Keep it going, keep it going. Five seconds. And time. All right, next one, we're gonna do two second holds on squats. So you're gonna take two seconds to go down. I want you to hold it for two seconds and then come up in two seconds. Again, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. So it should take you about six seconds total to do a full squat. And unless you're specifically looking at like a timer or anything like that, the two seconds might, for some be three seconds, might be one second. Unless you, like I said, you have a, a literal stopwatch or clock watching. All right, from here. Now let's go ahead and jump from side to side. And again. Three, two, one, and time. All right, next one, lunges. Lunges forwards. If you got room to, to do the lunges in a row, keep going. If you want to do them backwards, you can do them backwards as well. Begin. So you got tons of options for lunges. You do them in place. You do them front to back. You can walk forward with lunges, walk backwards with lunges. Multiple different ways of doing it. As long as you're just doing lunges. Do them however you want to do it. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Three. 
Three, two, one, and time. All right, now from here, now you're going to do push-ups the same way we just did the squats, but three seconds. Okay, so you're gonna take three seconds to go down, hold it for three seconds, and then push up in three seconds. All right, begin. So I want you to count in your head when you go down. One, two, three. Count holding it. One, two, three. Come back up. One, two, three. So it's taking about nine seconds total to do a full push up. Connor, you shouldn't be standing, sir. So if you do it correctly, or in time wise, you got six sec six push-ups in. So be about on your last rep, halfway through your last rep. Great job and time. All right, let's see how we're doing on time. Oh, we got time for at least another more. All right, let's see. Next one we're gonna do. We're going to do mm, stretching. We're just gonna jump into stretch. I ran out of ideas. All right, so everyone, let's go ahead and have a seat. Feet apart. Now we're going to stretch down the middle. You can either stretch and hold, or you can go down, come back up, and then go down further. All right, now everyone lean to the left. And lean to the right. Excellent. And bring your feet in, butterfly stretch. Using your elbows to push your knees down. Now go ahead and lean forward. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Three, two, four. And go ahead and cross your feet. And we're going to do 10 cross leg rockers, 10 straight leg rockers. And when you are done, stand up split position. Ready? And begin. 10 cross legs, 10 straight legs. And when you are finished, splits. Very good job, very good job. And cross leg, turn straight leg, and then split when you are done. Excellent. Very good. Everyone was about finished up. Keep it. All right, let's go ahead and move forward. So now let's go ahead and take our hands, arms up and down. And arms across. Excellent. Now let's take one arm across and use the other arm to pull it in. And switch.
Excellent. All right, now let's go ahead and move on to her neck. Hands around her back. You raise your shoulder. Oh, my neck just popped. Oh, that felt great. And up and down. Left to right. And head circles. Other way. Ignore the buzzer. All right, and touch your stance. And backing it. All right, Jumbi stance. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do, for those of you that took class with me last night and we did the, uh, you did the kick challenge. All right, we're gonna review that real quick, but we're only gonna do one set. For those of you, this is your first time seeing it, welcome to the kick challenge, all right? So, what I need everyone to do, I want everyone to get into a sparring stance. Okay, I want everyone to get into a sparring stance. All right, now we're going to do sparring style kicks. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a front leg. If you are intermediate, you are welcome to do just a regular front or front kick. If you're advanced, jump front kicks. And intermediates, you have the option to do the jump as well if you'd like. Okay. Of course, if you have any medical reasons on why you can't do the jump, that's on you. Right. But I'd like to see everyone that can be doing the jumps jump. All right, so here we go. Sparring stance, front leg, this? front kicks. Train, you got a question? Am I supposed to be in this class? What belt are you? Blue. And what grade are you going to? You're going to eighth. Eighth. Then, e yes, no. Okay. Yes. Sorry, he's late. <laughs> yes, defender, yes. Yes, you are in the class. You are in the right class. I had to think about it for a second. All right, so, sparring stance, front leg, front kicks with the jump if, you, if uh, you're in that part. All right, here we go, you ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Come on, Stark, get up there, get off that ground. Nine. Thank you. Ten. Switch feet. All right, now the other side, we're gonna do ten. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Excellent. All right, switch feet. Now we're going to do round kick style. So intermediates doing regular rounds. You have the option to do the jump and then advanced level and black belts jumping, jump round kicks. All right, here we go. Sparring stance. And one, two, three, four. Five, six. Good, and Lee and Carter, we're doing the front leg, front leg. Seven. Uh, come on, black belts, let me see you jump higher than that Eight. a little bit. Nine, and 10. Excellent, switch feet. All right, here we go, other side. Round kicks with the jump, optional for certain ranks. All right, here we go, ready, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, third kick. Okay, we're going to do a slide side kick. 
Okay, and the reason why I say slide is because for the drill that we're gonna do next, all right, for the part that we're gonna do next, I don't want you to step, all right? Remember, we're in a sparring mindset right now. So I want you to slide your feet together and then pop the other leg and do a side kick, okay? So hands are up. Everyone's doing that, the slide side kick, all right? There's no jump into that one or anything like that. It's just a slide side kick, all right? Here we go, hands up, and one, two. Now the only thing is too though, black belts, I should see y'all moving faster, right? So on, slide side kick. It should be here and then there. For black belts, be kind of like, almost kind of like a hop. All right, here we go. And three, four. My knees hurt. Five. Okay, slide side kick. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, break it up. Okay, so that is one set. If this is your first set doing, then you've got four left to go. Okay, so this is, if you didn't do class with me last night and you're doing class with me now, that is one set, you got four to go. It is the 300 kick challenge. So you just did 60 kicks. So you got 240 to go. If you were with me last night and you had not completed it yet, <clears throat> Grady, then you've got one more set in now. All right, so now you got let one last set to do, set to do on your own. You mean if we were here Tuesday? No, last night, Wednesday, at uh, seven o'clock. Yeah. So if uh, so, if you were here last night, then you know you. And if you didn't finish, then you got an extra set in. You did two hundred or three hundred sixty kick challenge. All right. So, um, but yeah, do that on your own. We're gonna keep moving. Okay. So the next thing we're going to review from yesterday's class as well is the double back fist to a fake side kick. All right. So how we, how I was uh, having y'all do the slide side kicks and the kick challenge, that's going to help us now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're here, we're going to throw back fist. Now when we throw the back fist though, I want you to slide into it and slide out. I want you to dive in, back fist, dive out. Okay. Very quickly. All right. Now I say double back fist. It might take you two. It could take you five back fists. It could take you eight back fists, depending upon who it is, right? If it's, if I'm sparring, you know, uh, Grady, I might only, I'm, I might be able to get away with, you know, three or four. If I was sparring with Mr. Barry, it might take me five or six, okay? Just depends on who you're with and how much experience they have uh, with sparring and how quickly that you can trick them, okay? So, what I want you to do from here is I want you to practice that. I want you to just dive in, back fist, and dive out. Okay? Circling. Go ahead and begin. Let's go, Janae. Get up. Be a part of class. Your knees hurt in that bag, get an ice pack. All right, from here, let's add on to that. So, now what I want you to do, pick a number, all right? Don't go crazy and do like 20, okay? But pick a number two through nine, okay? What we're gonna do now is you're gonna do that, you know, I want you to do that many back fists and then I want you to fake a back fist. So, and when you do it, what I want you to do is I want you to kind of flick your wrist a little bit and bring your back foot in. Once you do that, like the split second after, when you see their hand go up, I want you to side kick, okay? The reason being is after you get used to doing those back fists and they see you coming towards them, you're seeing, they're seeing you move towards them and everything, you're, tr you're getting them set up to trick them. Because then once you do this, they're gonna see your foot come closer. So you're using peripherals and they see your hand move. 
So they're going to automatically assume you're going to do a back fist. So their hands are going to block. Once they do that, their side is completely open for you to throw that side kick. Okay. And like I said, though, in sparring, you want to be quick. You don't want to stand with your feet together for five seconds. Okay. Not a good thing to do. All right. But it's okay to do for just a split second. All right. So, like I said, go ahead and practice that on your own. Whatever number you picked, get them used to it. Connor, since your dad's with you, what I want you to do is I want you to, uh, I want you to try to actually fake him. All right. So you might have to change it up every once in a while. You might do three. You might do eight. All right. I want you to. I want to see if you can trick him really good. So you want us to throw that side kick like really fast, right? Correct. So for those of you that might be confused or anything, you need to see it again. I throw the back fist, I throw the back fist, I don't throw the back fist, and I side kick. See how many times, if you've got a partner with you, see how many times you can get them. Leon Carter, you got you got a three sparring ring going on right now. That makes it even harder. All right, team, and time. Let's go ahead and bring it all in, and let's talk about it real quick. So, there's a reason why I'm having you bring your feet together. Multiple reasons why. Okay. So, who outside of the people that were here last night? Who can tell me what's your thoughts on why I'm having you bring your feet together instead of just throwing it? Instead of just kind of like faking it, you know, or jumping in with it and then throwing that side Who can tell me? Give, me? give me what your thoughts are. It gives you more speed. Do what now? It gives you more speed. Okay, looking at speed, yeah. Wait, I know, I think I know. All right, Connor, I think first, and then Luke will get to you next. Connor. So, when you're jumping, instead of sliding, when you jump, you have to land your feet down and then kick. But if you slide, you just kick. Okay, so the sliding is easier than the jumping, yeah? Luke, what you got? You're closing the gap between you two as well. So okay, so you're right. getting closer to them, yeah. You're closing that gap in, so you're able to reach them. Get more power on it as well, instead of just Throwing it, you have that extra motion to go into it. Yeah. And now is that for the back fist or the side kick? How are you talking about with that? That part. I kind of both. A little bit both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. What else we got? Great thoughts. Great thoughts. I'm open for thoughts. There's unless you say something like cheeseburger, there's no wrong thought. Cheeseburger. Uh huh. That's wrong. All right, so yeah, so there's multiple reasons, right? And they're correct, all right? Speed, the ability to actually kick it, or throw the kick, the movement into it, you're closing that gap in, that's all correct, okay? Additionally, when you're doing the jump, or you're, you're diving in, diving out, everyone's been on these mats long enough, you hear sliding, your feet slide, you can hear that. So when, you're, when you bring that foot in, it's still making that noise as well. So you're utilizing their senses, the sense of vis the sound. So they're hearing that foot movement, their vision, they're seeing you moving still, all right? And that's why you're flicking the wrist too is because they're, you're creating that real good trick. And then also your body's balanced. So you're able to throw that side kick, okay? If you was to lean into it, your body has to actually lean backwards before you're able to actually pick your foot up. So when, you're, when you bring your foot together, you're actually able to still throw the side kick very quickly and effectively and still creating that sense of trick, tricking, okay? Now, there's a lot of things that might be, that could change them. You could, you might have to, you know, you might not get them, right? And you might have to throw a hook kick or a round kick, okay? There's nothing wrong with throwing a round kick. All right, and going for the back end, okay? Not like the actual back, but like right here, okay? 
You have you might throw a hook kick. You might get him in the belly. You got all that area, right? You got everything here. Okay. There's multiple ways, other ways you can also do tricks. Okay. You can throw so if you forward, um, you'd sort of get style points from that judge by doing a spin side kick if you lean forwards. Um so you're talking about doing this and then doing a spin side? Yeah. You can. The only challenge with that is, um, potentially, is your hips work together, okay? And when, you're, when you bring your feet in, your hips are kind of in a locked position to an extent. So there's limitations of what you can do. And again, for sparring, you want it to be quick. Not saying you so could. I meant, I meant like, um, like instead of bringing your feet together, like you do what you'd regular do, regularly do. Is you'd have your weight forward so you could easily pick up your back leg and just spin around. Show me. Okay. That could work. The only thing is, is you're not creating a sense of moving forward. So you might not be able to trip it. You could if you go in to fake a back fist first and then throw it. But our body is meant to move one direction at a time, okay? So when our hand's going this way, it's challenging for our foot to also go the other way, all right? Okay. That's the reason why I also have you bring your feet full together, okay, is because when you lean forward, well, your body can't lean forward and backwards at the same time to be able to throw a side kick. So you create that sense of moving forward, but you're also not moving forward. Okay. Oh, I get it now. Okay. More, the more you practice it, you might be able to do that. Like I said, it changes all the time. You could do spins. You could do jumps. You might throw some punches instead, right? You might throw some blocks. I can't tell you how many times I've tricked people with just throwing blocks, not even trying to actually strike them. I'll just throw a high block just to confuse them. And they're like, what in the world is this crazy person doing? I remember you doing that with me, Mr. Estes, when you and I were sparring. You kept throwing those blocks at me, and I'm like, what are you doing? See? Uh-huh. It works. Or if you're Mr. Jackson and I, you just keep edging forward at him. No, recording to him to what? I said, if you're just Mr. Jackson and I, we just edge towards you real fast and edge back real quick. Yeah. 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 Just spins. Just spins. So, yeah. So, play with that. Like I said, you can uh, change it up. All right, but that is at least a good start out for it, okay? All right, um, let's see. Another, uh, I got another good one that you could do to trick with is um, if you have a chair, quickly grab one. Preferably one that has like this, where there's nothing here, and of course, you know, there's nothing above there. If you don't have a chair or anything like that, you can quickly grab, just do it in the air. You'll see the, you'll kind of get the idea. But another good one you can do on multiple different reasons is a low mid side kick. And what I mean by that, we're in a sparring stance. Luke, was that an excitement because of you love this kick? Yeah, okay. So you throw the low side kick, right? Yeah, I do that all the time, so yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, so there you go. Well, you're gonna get more practice with this. So you, you throw in the low side kick, so what you're going for is aiming kind of for their knees. It's faking it. It's what they're doing is wanting to get that arm down. Okay. Now, once they do that low block, that's the typical block that you do for a kick, right? Once that arm goes down, you immediately come back up and then you throw it at their belt level. Okay. Now, you could change that second kick up too. You can do a hook kick. Okay. You know, if their arm's down low enough and you go to do the side kick, you know, if it's against their body, you might not get it. So you might have to do a hook kick to the belly, right? Or if they're out like this, then yeah, you can definitely get that side kick in. All right? So we're here, you're gonna throw the low kick and then the mid-level kick. High kick if you want, okay? Go ahead and practice that. A low to mid side kick, or a low high side kick. I call it a low high side kick, but the high does not necessarily mean you're kicking their head. When we're doing that mid side kick, we're kicking like right at their belt. Right? At least. Like at least. Sparring level.
Very nice, very nice. All right, so I just wanted to get you some practice in with that. Uh, another cardio we're going to do real quick, cardio workout before we get you nice and wore out before we jump into the form. We're going to do 10, you're going to, you're going to have 10 of these to do. You're going to do a burpee, and then you're going to do an outside crescent kick with each leg. Okay, so it's going to look like this. You're going to go down with the push-up. Well, uh, yeah, one outside crescent kick, the other outside crescent kick. That is one. All right, you're going to do 10 of those. All right. Everyone go with that. Is there anything we need to do? One more time. Do what? Can you show it one more time? Because yep. I was putting my chair Okay, yeah. So, you're gonna go down and do a burpee. Come up, outside crescent kick one, outside crescent kick two. And that is one set. You're gonna do 10 of those. Okay, everyone uh, You were laggy. I was laggy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Connor, you're frozen. Okay, there you are. All right, so, did you, were you able to hear that, Connor? Yeah. Do you know what you're doing? Um, you did a push up, you came back up, and then you did like a round kick. Outside crossing kick, but yes. Two of them. Yeah, but wait, what was the second one? Another outside crossing kick. So you go down, do the push up, come back up, right you leg. Do you on second one, different leg. Okay. You do it on the same leg? Uh, both legs. So one on each leg. Oh, okay. All right. Ten of them on your own and go. As soon as everyone's done, we'll jump into the floor. Just last little bit of cardio before we jump in to the form. Very good, keep pushing, keep pushing. Who's gonna be the first one done? Who's gonna be the first one done? Speed drill. Great, you started before I said go. So like five of them didn't count. Three? Okay. Either way. No, I'm just kidding though. But good job on finishing, nonetheless. Luke's either done or he's tired, one or the other. Or both. <laughs> I got done. I got tired. Tired. You should, have, you should have us try a Spider Man push up. I mean, if you want to do that, it's on you. You want to do Spider-Man push-ups, come, come train with me in kickboxing. All right, how are we doing? Everyone done? Anybody still going? Sydney, you're still going? Okay. Now done. All right, everyone else done? Good to go? All right, cool. Let's jump into the form. So I've got Miss Bossa and Mr. Bear here with me today. So yes, they're going to help you out. And I'm going to face away from the camera, okay? If that does not help you, then visually blur me out, okay, and just listen. Before we start, I have one question. What's your question? When you face away, I forget what the June B is. June B? Oh, okay. So your feet are together, right hand goes, oh. here, left hand goes on okay, top. Okay, thank you. Yep. I was thinking it was like that. No, just like so. Okay, thank you. And the way to transition to the June B, so you come up, you bow. Hands come up to your belt, and then you kind of rotate out. And just like so. All right? All right. Great question. Glad it was form-related. Glad you didn't say what, what the weather was like today. Trust me, I've had questions like that. Any other questions before we get started? Okay. And like I said, in the event that we I freeze up or anything, I'm going to verbally, vocally say every move in every detail. All right, so. Um, can you go slow? Because mine is laggy. Do what, Connor? 
Um, can you go slow? Cause mine is like laggy. I will try. I will go normal speed or slower speed. I won't go fast. Um, and yeah, I'm going to vocal vocalize every move, every detail. So, um, so that way you can still vocally follow along too. Okay. Cause I've noticed the only thing that lags is the video, the visual, not the vocal. We were in the juvie. Do you want our fingers touching or our palms touching? Palms touching. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, can you hit? Go get it. Do me for a while. All right, first move, everyone, chamber, step out to the left, sitting stance, palm block. Or at least a sitting stance for your left leg to step up. Two punches. Same on your left side, both hands together. Right back stance towards the right, square block. Reach out, left hand comes to your belt. Reinforced up cut. Everyone should know this kind of part by now. Beginner level, should be way beyond this. Everyone take your left hand, aim out, right hand comes to your belt. Step your right foot into a thick stance, right hand punch. Left hand's going to open and come to your ear. We're gonna half chamber. Open stance, bring your feet together, open stance, downward eye can strike. On that open stance, your feet are still, your heels are together, but you're still having that L shape. Left leg is going to step towards that direction into a front stance, left hand punch. Real quick, when we're doing that knife hand here, do you want it to come in like a big circle or just across our face? What have we done for the past eight weeks? Who can answer that? You go across your face, you don't do a big circle. You go in front okay. and across the face. All right. Left hand, chamber is on top. We're going to go back towards the front, left front stance, left hand low blow. Step forward, right front stance, punch. There is no easy way to explain this one. All right, so I'm going to do the best I can. Your left hand is going to open and cover the thumb. Your right thumb. You're going to go into a Jumbi stance and twist in. Elbow stays out. Right leg side kick. Chamber for a knife hand. Back stance, right hand knife hand. Say that five times fast. Right hand knife hand. Left leg steps forward, punch. Right leg steps forward, punch again. Aya! Now, I'm going to scoot back. Okay, stay right there, stay right there. So for those of you that are still having maybe troubles with this transition, what I want you to do, I want you to imagine, you imagine a clock and where the minute hand and the hour hand cross, you're standing there, okay? What's in front of you currently is 12 o'clock. To your right is three o'clock. Behind you is six o'clock. And to your left is nine o'clock, okay? What we're gonna do, we're gonna pick up our back leg, our left leg. We're gonna to turn towards nine o'clock. When you turn towards nine, your hands are gonna chamber. When you turn towards six, your right leg is gonna stay in place. Your left leg's then going to step at three, and that's when you throw the double knife hand. If that helps you, if it confuses you and you had it down prior to that, ignore it. Wait, can you do the whole phone one more time again? Can I do that one more time? Okay, so we're in the right front stance, right hand punches. We're going to lift our leg up and turn towards nine o'clock. Our hands open. We're gonna keep turning towards six o'clock. That's where our right foot stays. And then our foot lands at, our left foot lands at three o'clock, double knife hand. So every 40 or every 15 minutes on a clock, we're doing something, okay? Now we're going to chamber for a spear hand. We're going to step forward and spear, reinforce. So that means our left hand is under our right tricep. We're going to go into a Jumbi stance, chamber for a double back hand. Our left leg is going to step out into a back stance, double back hand. That is the easiest way to explain that transition. 
Okay, so when you're here in the right front stance with the spear, you go to do me, and then you go in the back stance. Okay, I know most of the time it's just a step step, but for me it more helps better. I don't know why. Back leg round kick. Back leg, new, new back leg round kick, land double neck kick. Intermediates, this is where the end of your form is. So my green through solid purple, you are done now. Senior purple isn't above, we're gonna keep going. Intermediates, go back to your B, continue working. Now, advance and above, we're going to take our left hand, we're gonna chamber it on top. Take up our left foot, go towards six o'clock, so to the back, low block, front stance. Now our left hand is going to pick up. We're going to transition into a fixed stance, right hand punches. And notice my shoulders don't move. Okay, I'm not twisting into it. I'm facing and still in that fixed stance. So I'm, my punch isn't going really all the way out. Now we're gonna do that two more times. So we're going to step, that hand stays out to aim, land punch. And then you're gonna do it one more time. So you should end up with your left leg in front, right hand punches. Now from here, our, our hands are gonna to come to our belt, palms up. We're going to convert into a left front stance, low X block, left hands on top. Our right leg is going to slide into a back stance, facing 12 o'clock. We're going to face six o'clock though, an elbow strike. Okay, so half of our body is facing the front. The lower half of our, our body is facing the front. Upper half of our body is facing the back. Now from here, our left hand's going to chamber, doing an inner forearm block. Our right hand's gonna do a low block. Now our left leg's going to pick up at the 12, and we're gonna to go to nine, kind of going the longer way. We're going to switch one, switch two. Okay. Now from here, we're going to chamber our hands for the double knife hand. Left leg's going to step out into a back stance, double knife hand. We're gonna bring our feet together, hands reach out, step out with our right foot, double knife in. Aya. That is the end of the form. Everyone back, bottom back to GB. And show, that the end. All right, from here. Any questions on the form before we move forward? Any questions on that? Anything confusing? No? Okay. All right, from here, from here, from here. Let's go ahead, get into the plank challenge. Today is two minutes and 36 seconds. Two minutes and 36 seconds. Once everyone's in the planks, we will start the time. All right, three, two, one, begin. Time has started. Very good, very good. All right, while we're holding on to that, I'm gonna go over the definition for Wadong. Oops, I don't drop my phone first. Good thing I have a case on it. So Wadong, there are 29 moves in Wadong. All right, and uh, someone told me a long time ago, by the way, if anybody's wanting to learn, uh, know how to actually pronounce thing, uh, Korean words, from what I was told, imagine you have a bag of marbles in your mouth and then try to speak. All right, so, listen. so I know a lot of times, uh, I've heard quite a few times also, Warang, um, Americanized, not wrong, but if you want to say it from what I know of correctly from the Korean language, it's Warang or anything like that. So Dosan, Dosan. All right, but anywho, Warang, 29 moves, is named after the Warang youth group that originated in the Sila dynasty in the early seventh century, so 1400 years ago. 
the 29 moves refer to the 29th Infantry Division, which is where Taekwondo developed into maturity. So instead of, you know, it being a hobby and only, you know, a group of people doing it or a hundred people doing it or so, now you got thousands training it, thousands learning it, practicing it, understanding it, doing all these crazy moves. So unlike I've said in past classes, the, if you're able to master this form down to the T, this is a great form to do at tournaments because there is no consistency. There is no, it, it, it just wows them every time. All right. Unless it's like a, unless it's like a ninth degree that's done these form, then it might not be wowed too much, but, um, but this is a really cool form. 20 seconds left. I've done this form many times in tournaments. Forms was my favorite thing to do in tournaments. So, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And time. All right. Very good job today, everybody. Hope you had a great, awesome class. Hope everyone's work wore out now a little bit, tired out. I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your day hope everyone has a fantastic weekend if i don't see you uh until then and keep practicing remember that kick challenge so if you need to finish it grady then make sure you get it done all right if this is the first class doing it and like i said you got four sets to go you got the weekend are you teaching the black belt class tomorrow at one uh probably not usually don't teach on fridays so but um yeah um you got through the weekend to finish the kick challenge and everything. Uh, like I said, at the end of it, you will have done 300 kicks. And you can keep going, too. The, the uh, person that I saw that gave me the idea to do it, they were doing a 500 kick challenge. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that one yet. So, but anyhow, great job. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And you are dismissed. Bye. Bye. Bye.